I always do that. I press record and I don't even have the TV off. I don't even have the TV off yet. I, I gotta finish cleaning up my room. My girl is coming. My woman is on her way. Anyway, this is a hard one. We're gonna talk about the Bible. Basically, the Bible is the words of ancient men authorized by other ancient men then rewritten again by not so ancient men then compiled by not so ancient again men then rewritten by more men and I know people call it the Word of God but let's be technical technically <clears throat> and officially it's not the Word of God. It's the Word that men wrote down. Now, the Bible has a lot of power to it because it's old. And when I say that, meaning there's a lot of information in the Bible about relationships that they should, they would have known by then. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed in humanity in the last, I'd say, 60,000 years. So, everything has been seen. Now let me tell you something about the flood. It's not the first time that somebody made a flood story. Somebody made a flood story long before the Judaic flood story. Somebody made a, a immaculate conception long before Jesus. Someone made a story very similar to Moses long before Moses. That dude's name was Sargon the Great. And what you learn from this is that doesn't mean that the original story is closer to God it just means the original story is the original story but this is the religion that's accepted today so we're gonna follow this and we're gonna completely and try to completely forget about where they came from we're gonna try to forget about the pagan or origins we're gonna try to forget about the people the politics and the struggles the bloodshed all of the conquests we're going to forget about all of the nasty moves. We're going to forget about all the evil shit. We're not even going to talk about the rape and murders you find in the Bible. We're not even going to talk about that. We're just going to talk about it's the love of God. And this is God's word and it's here for us to be loving with each other. But that same book, of course, talked about raping people and throwing children off of cliffs and things like that. So, you know, God can't didn't seem to make up his mind till the New Testament when the Romans jacked that shit. That's right. The Romans said, give me that shit. It's a full-time jack move. Like Ice Cube, jacking for beats. The Romans jacked it. They took it over. They said, you know what? We're going to use this, this Yeshua guy. We're going to change his name a little. We're going to add to the story. We're going to add some big-time things to it. And then we're going to enforce it. Now, they did not spread it with love and peace. That's right. It did not spread with love and peace. It... Ex it Where's my knife at? I wish I had a sword to show you how they spread it. They spread it at the end of a sword. The religion of peace and love and understanding and being saved was spread throughout the world at the end of a sword and guns and bombs and tanks. And that's how they spread it. That's how anything that has a one deity system is spread. Through murder, coercion, exile exclusion torture that's how they spread it so it's not like it's something that all of a sudden popped up and it was this nice clean thing and oh we're all gonna follow it because we love it no people spread it because they were forced to what do you think the crusades were what do you think the inquisitions were what do you think the whole Salem witch hunters were what do you think they made the witch the um, witch's hammer for there's all kinds of proof to show you that it was spread through hate I love you if you don't love what I love, I'm going to kill you because you hate what I love. If you don't love what I love, I'm going to kill you. And that's how it was spread, point blank. You can say anything else you want. You can get as metaphysical, physical, spiritual, mob, one time, phys I got a straight up one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Yeah, it's so bad. The word religion is such a messed up word now that nobody wants to even claim that they're, that they're religious. That's beautiful. That means that it's working. You're finally waking up. I'm not religious. I have a 
God's relationship with God. Yeah, through a book that God didn't write. But you know, it's all good. We're all here. We're all living. It's a beautiful thing. Just know that we, a lot of people don't agree with you and don't think like you do. But you can believe what you wish and we'll think you're wrong. And we'll all get along because basically at the end of the day, it's all about being civil. So if that book keeps you civil, good for you. But it doesn't keep me civil. I'm civil. I'm internal. My civility is an internalized discipline. I know that's hard to understand, but that's how it is. This was your boy Cosmic. I'm not trying to keep these things too long. I'll holler.